can understand those fears. And, you know, sometimes I have them myself. Sometimes I wonder how much of my behavior is real choice and meaningful degrees of freedom and to what extent I'm just playing out a dance that or is orchestrated by the motions of atoms in my brain. Um, and I think one thing for religious believers to realize is that this is not a new problem in theology and in Christian faith. St. Augustine himself, one of the greatest thinkers and saints of the Christian church, struggled with this issue um, when in his own thoughts and in his own readings. Uh, you know, t when we talk about a sovereign God who exists outside of time and can know things that uh, are going to happen in the future, that suggests a deterministic model. But when we talk about responsibility and freedom of choice and ethical behavior before God, that suggests that we have free will and that we have choice. And this has been a tension in theological and religious circles for millennia. So one thing I would say to the, to the, to the religious person who um, fears some of this stuff is to realize that this is not new, that we've been struggling with this. My father was actually a uh, student in seminary. He, he was a pastor in a church for a long time. He tells a funny story about this. He asked a professor of his, he was a very earnest young student in seminary, and he asked a professor of his at seminary how he reconciles the sovereignty of God with the free will of man. And the professor thought for a moment and says, I preach on the sovereignty of God on Sunday morning, and I preach on the free will of man on Sunday evening. <laughs> basically saying we don't have great answers to this right now.